my name is Tim and I'm going to be replacing the handlebars, the switch cover, assembly cover, didn't say that quite right, and the switch, the actual switch covers on my 2007 Harley Davidson Street Bob. The first thing you want to do is remove these two screws from your, well first of all you want to put this little piece of little piece of cardboard in behind the the brake handle here and then remove those two screws right there to the master cylinder part next you want to remove this top screw from your cylinder assembly cover and there's a bottom screw right there and then once you get those removed you will want to carefully peel this back and there's going to be a little tiny screw up in there. I'm going to take that out as well. That is a Torx. Which Torx is it? Where'd my, oh, here it is. That is a, a 15. You will also need to take out these here. You'll need a T25. More than likely, you're going to drop it like I just did. So be ready and keep your eyeball on it. It is off. I kept my eyeball on it, and there's my little screw. Thank goodness. I don't know if it came with the Star Wash or not, but I'll figure it out a little bit later. Hopefully a new kid will come with one. The next thing you want to do, you can see... Oh, I guess what I did. I took a little strap here, just hung up this stuff so it doesn't hang and pull any wires loose while well, I'm struggling with the throttle cables. Next I'm taking out throttle cables. Focus. It won't focus for me. AF may be autofocus. There we go. Had to push the AF button on my new camera phone. And we got to get those little, uh, those two cables out. There's one, one for front, one for back. I'm going to get the screwdriver, work it up out of the, the groove here. Alright, next thing is, you have this little thing here, goes up in a hole, pop that out, I grabbed a needle nose and pulled it out, and it didn't damage too bad. You may have to run to Harley after this or somewhere else and get you a new one. And then, just pull this assembly off. Alright, so I end up snipping, in order to pull that off, well I pulled it off, I snipped that uh, previous tie hat on there and I slid this whole thing off the end of the handlebar there and I put up another tie behind the mirror here to hold it all up so I can work on it standing up and it's not all hanging down dragging hitting my paint and this thing is what I found here you want to take out this cable so you can just move it off to the side there and you will be able to you know more slack you'll be able to pick it up and go through that little groove right there and it popped off pretty easy, and the other one's going to come off fairly easy well. Um, these things are not attached to the cable, and they will jump off. So be careful. Keep your eye on it. Oh. And they are brass, so your metal retriever ain't going to help if you lose it. Alright, so while I was doing that, there's a little shoe. This little itty bitty thing fell out right there underneath that thumb grip thing that I've never used before. This is a tensioner for your throttle. Uh, I, don't, I never drive down the highway long enough to worry about it. Plus, you know, people are slowing down, speeding up. Anyway, um, next we need to remove these uh, inserts here. There's a little rubber rings on each one. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, Use this. Put a couple of drops of oil on that on that O-ring and see if I can't work them out. Alrighty. I uh, just took the last 15 minutes trying to get these things out. They are there's a little snap ring that's holding them in. So uh, after I put my oil in there, as you saw earlier, 
I uh, got me a little tiny screwdriver and I started pressing in on the sides and stuff while I was applying pressure out here like so and you can see now it's it's about out you may want to ask your dear wife I'm sure it, it, it's almost out uh, let me finish popping it out and move on you may want to have somebody apply pressure to the back side while you're trying to get in there and press the sides of the rings in one other thing uh now they just flung off and dangle which one's the front one which one's the back one well okay so i fat fan the phone and actually shut off i uh, don't know if i'm gonna be able to merge that with the new video but anyway we'll go on i call this part two so uh it's blurry isn't it there oh come on in get a little bit better anyway uh there's a little zip tie down there clip that on the back side of your thumb wheel there there's a little slip piece you know pop that off that was off to your thumb wheel once you get that little itty bitty piece there you can see it a little c-ring looking thing anyway sorry so much of this is out of focus but whatever it's quick and painless take out that screw after you snip the uh tie nobody says it's gonna be easy so pop that little screw out and focus come on af auto focus there we go and you really it's kind of a jam in there you know why because you got this wire running out here to your light, which you're going to have to disconnect. So, I've done this to the back. I'm going to have to get my screwdriver and a little notch, pop this out, and get that light out. And I'm going to disconnect the wires and run them all the way back through the switching cover. Oh, look, take three. Hope I can merge these things together. Hit it again. Oh, so. The orange cover pops off, it's got a slot for the screwdriver, depress and turn left to get the bulb out. And there's a little, oh, a little seal there. You have to pop that out with something similar to this. Be careful not to ruin it. Well, uh, I tried everything I could here and I ain't getting it out that way. I've had this thing out, I've tried pulling, I've had this middle thing here out and I just had about that much wire <sighs> so I can't cut it in there next thing I thought is maybe I can get these uh, little slots on the sides there but and I can pull it out of the back but I'm, I doubt I'd ever get those things back threaded through there so the next time I turn this thing on then I'm just going to pull back as far as I can and probably make some staggered snips on this wire and then go ahead and butt tie them together. I hate to do that, but I just don't think we're going to be able to really get those out of there. I'm still thinking about popping those out, but once you get, nah, they ain't never going to go back in. I'll just cut it. All right, so I made I pulled back my sheath and I made staggered cuts so that it doesn't bow out too much on the uh, the looming and I made sure I put it on the riser part of the handlebar so that we did not run into that hole where the that thing goes. Um, next. You grab that little arm right here with my thumb and you just start wiggling that out and this whole assembly starts to come out. The next thing you're gonna have is, see the thing with the numbers on there, that's your uh, brake switch. And you can see from the outside, I just kinda 
pried on it very gently from the inside and it looks like the seal broke so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off take that out and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this wire right here and go from there a couple things to point out my grommet that was in the bottom there well, it's rotted. I'll have to get a new one. Or you sell a kind. It's on the bottom. Nobody's going to see it. And behind your little switch, there was a little brass clip. I think that laid right against those two ridges there somehow or another. I'll get it figured out when I put it back on. Or it could be on the back. I'll, I'll figure it out. More fun times. Ooh. Okay, so there's a spring, right? Well, when you put it back on, put it back on just like that. Put, put it on flush. Don't put it on like this. Don't put it on like this. Put it on, snap it right down in there. And press that spring all right so holy crap those switches were like the hardest things to get on and off and i was so scared to break them but i didn't i do have some stress fractures as you kind of see there i guess that's all part of the process um by the way these were uh j and p cycles part number 500-745 uh switch covers or replacements um so now i'm starting to figure out here that maybe somebody added on those front uh front signal lights aftermarket or something because give me a second because there's the old one with the hole for the front signal lights wiring and the new Kyriakin one did not come with a hole so I get to destroy these brand new things and drill a hole in them I'm gonna double check make sure I got the right side and yes I do have the right side it's for the left just for the right, so I could drill a hole in my brand new stuff. Alright, so I ran my wire back through there, around the outside of the... God, I hope that's right. I suppose I'll have to go on the inside and watch. Anyway, um, staggered. Hope I didn't forget anything. I'm going to tape all that up, wrap it in tape, bring back my sheath, and go from there. Okay, so I got this all wrapped back up. I guess I better wrap it the less chance you got for getting uh, that stuff in there. What's that stuff called? It's called uh, moisture. I didn't miss a spot. Uh, I put the switch back in, as you can see right there, and remember that little brass clip and I put uh, some gooey some kind of adhesive on the back of it and slipped it back behind there that's what it calls for mm -hmm. on the flight you can see there is a switch right there ah, screw it anyway I'm ready to assemble this thing back in got my caps back on and I hope I ain't got to take it back apart one other thing don't forget before you put the screw in the bottom there uh put in a little zip tie in case you need it so we're about ready to roll i pulled my loom back up as you can see it and keeping the camera on all the time takes a lot of energy so i have to go plug in my phone Okay, I'm going to the other side of my 2007 Harley Street Bobs to replace the switch cover housing 
for chrome and the switch covers and the handlebar as you will see I got this other side all together and well I was supposed to get this chrome piece but it didn't arrive yet so let's get it for Christmas <laughs> Wah. I do like the new look so I will be getting that matter of fact I'm kind of glad I didn't come in because I'm gonna get that uh, that lever as well in chrome that looks pretty tight so anyway two, two new tricks um, this little piece here I found for some odd reason when I twisted it 90 degrees it kind of almost fell out then I just had to pull it out and the little nipples on the end there were all folded up but they did not tear so that's good so I'll be able to reuse that and instead of using a zip tie to hold the stuff up so I can work on this at standing level I just re-gripped them on there and I'm going to go ahead and do what I did yesterday pull all the stuff out pull the sheath back as far down as I can so I cut the wires between here and here so that we can put in the uh, the butt ties and if I run into any other issues I will turn the camera back on all right quick tips uh, cover your tank so the stuff doesn't thing up against your paint job cut these staggered um, and then cut when you're cutting them cut a quarter inch off of one side or the other that way when you put your butt splice together you allow for that that extra quarter inch or so it's going to be in there yeah, come on focus there we go so anyway um, and that is it oh uh that sheet that sheathed so I took a brand new blade razor blade edge and I went in between two wires very gently it should follow path of least resistance so I did not cut any wires or you didn't cut you know the wire itself just cut the sheath so I made a slit all uh, maybe four inches three inches and then I carefully went around the edge and once that gets weak you can pretty much tear tear around it it'll come off and then the other side you just peel all the way back and then you could go around the outside edge because the it'd be folded over itself and then you go around there without being so worried about cutting your wire Oh, what you see is pro job, man. Pro pro work from a pro professional. Look at that great work right there. Wrapped all those things up nice and thin, right? Huh? And that look good? But there's something wrong. Oh, dumbass. Even though I did remember to cut the hole, I forgot to put the wire back on. All that masterful work for nothing. Okay, I'm back. I got everything back together. Um, you're just going to have to nurse everything, all the wires and stuff back in there. Don't forget your tie. And start your tie in there first. You see I got the purple one on there. So I put that in there in the clip before I even started trying to feed everything back in. But feed it all back in. And it kind of just gonna kind of feel it out first of all I had the, the switch wires underneath the the bracket it didn't feel right took them back out notice that you know just they just fit better on top so anyway just gotta nurse it all in there and zip tie it back down switches were once again tough but I found if you just pop one side on it first and then pop the other side on You'll be all right. Please note your positioning when you pop off your your hard switch switches, like 
that's high and that's low. When you pop it off, make sure you know what position you're in. Are you in low? Pop it off and pop it back on in that proximity or orientation, whatever you want to call it. And the horn button's easy, same as the start button over there. It's just, it's just a spring in there. It doesn't matter which way you put the spring back in. It is symmetrical. So I got all that off, and then I managed to get that thing, the, the, the grip off. I went down through it with the, my little poker there. It was glued right here. It was also glued on the end, but I twisted it with all my might, and it broke free on the end, and I was able to pull it off. It's uh, it, it's on there. Just got to muscle it off.